Hi, it's Stephanie Everett and welcome back to the Suburban Chateau. Today we're going to be discussing collecting something that I've been collecting for a long, long time and that is toll trays or tollware trays. Now when I first started gathering things for my home, I just loved the look of the floral art on these toll trays. And so I started to collect them in all different colors, depending on the room or my mood or the season, I would change them up and use them as wall decor, not at all as a tray. Um, but today I'm going to share with you my feature wall in my living room and how I've sort of refreshed it featuring these beautiful tollware trays and some other artwork that complements them as well. So I can't wait to take you along. We'll take you on some thrifting and antiquing for tollware trays and then I'll show you our finished project in our feature wall. So I hope you enjoy it and thanks for coming along today on the Suburban Chateau. Welcome to my gallery wall in my living room here at the Suburban Chateau. And on my gallery wall, I have combined a mirror. I have several different pieces of artwork, but mostly I am highlighting my collection of tollware trays. And you see them in a variety of sizes and colors, and I often switch them out depending on the season or the other decor. I find tollware trays when I'm antiquing and thrifting almost everywhere. They're very, very prominent. Um, there was a history from the 1920s through about the 1960s of producing these tin trays, mostly floral artwork. Sometimes you see fruit artwork. And also typify the one stroke painting technique. And I know if you've listened to some of my other videos, I am really working on the one stroke painting technique. My eye is really drawn to that style but I look at them as inspiration. I get a lot of, I love the tray we're looking at right here, just the color palette and the color combination. And some places, um, if you're wondering like, what is a reasonable price? A, an example of, is this yellow tray here. I found it for $5 and 50 cents. And I believe this one actually had the Nashco original sticker on the back. Sometimes I see painting on wood trays. These aren't Nashco or tin, but I love those as well. Just get a lot of good inspiration for artwork. But pretty much you can find them in terms of a price range. Usually I see them for anywhere from 20 to sometimes higher, like $60 each for the tray. It depends on the condition. If they have a perfect um, non-scratched painting surface, if the flowers are in good shape, if they've been well taken care of. Sometimes the trays can get chipped up on the edges, um, but they are that d does definitely affect the value. And now let me show you how I put together that feature or gallery wall in my living room. My living room has a high ceiling and so I wanted my feature wall to sort of follow the natural shape of the room. So you can see it does go up on the right. And I started out with a focal point and that was that central tollware tray in the black. This is actually a Nashco tray and has a sticker on the back. Um, and then I added some other black trays, but in different shapes and in different sizes, right around that central black tray. Then I changed it up and I went for some complimentary colors. I love that yellow tray and um, some different sizes. There was a long thin tray that I used, but I love the purple colors in there. And then I filled in the gaps. These were two small pieces of art that I purchased that were just the right size to fill in some of those gaps. Got this picture at a local antique store. Also, I have a love of Thomas Kincaid painting. So I have a couple of those just as little accent pieces in the whole look. I have other trays that also decorate the rest of that room. So I have different sizes and things like that. Here's the final look with the furniture and uh, I think it looks amazing. But really for me, it's such an inspiration in my own painting. I would highly recommend if you start collecting tollware to just do as I did, to start out with things that appeal to you and that you think are beautiful and to work them into your collection. I find them to be a great source of inspiration and really a beautiful addition to my home. 
Thanks so much for joining me on today's episode of The Suburban Chateau. I hope you learned a little bit about the tollware trays, and I hope you got some ideas of how you might be able to use something like this in your decor as well. Thanks again. We'll see you again the next time on The Suburban Chateau.